What are you doing, Bobby? All right, we're gonna start our little inspection here on Gary's 64 T-Bird. I actually went over and helped him get it running yesterday over at his unit, get it going. We put some air in the tires, which he's gonna need tires. He's already said, hey, quote me out on tires. So that's gonna be on there for sure. Cause these are over 10 years old. They're starting to crack the sidewall, yada, yada. We got it fired off yesterday. It had dead battery, Gary charged it. Good to go, because it sat for like a year. So, got it fired up, got it running. I adjusted the carb a little bit to get it so it's a little less grumpy. It was a little smoky down by where the exhaust ports are on the heads. But that's because the valve covers are leaking and there's actually oil coking and stuff down in there. You can see it's on my finger already. So we're definitely gonna be doing valve cover gaskets. Um, the hoses, even though they have stickers and are new, and we'll call Tyler back in a minute. Even though they have stickers and they look new, they're actually starting to leak. You can see here, just an example, like the lower hose down here. Can you get that, Bernsey? I'm not giving what I'm here, saying. Great sides with me. Yes, sir. Oh. See that? You can see the crusties on it. The crusties, they're leaking. And that actually, ladies and gentlemen, even if you crank down on that hose clamp, it's still going to leak because that's at the point where it's penetrated through the inside of the hose. Mm -hmm. And it's coming up through the threads and all that. So we got a leak there. This water pump has a broken tab. Somebody went nuts when they put the bracket on for the power steering pump and broke that off. So seeing we have... A leak back here you can actually see the at the bypass hose we'll have to replace that anyway it's gonna be the same amount of time and labor just to put a new pump in too that's not cracked there and you can see here where this hose is leaking as well look at that you see that one oh yeah that's all crusty yeah that's nasty so we got all that nasty nasty so basically, we're going to reseal the cooling system. I am going to pressure test it here a little later. Um, the little rubber hose here on this trans cooler line. Because somebody... Oh no, that, they're actually beaded. Never mind. But that is crusty. We'll get in there and replace that. Your belts are good. They're nice. They're Deco top cogs, which is what I recommend for all of this stuff. Um, but that's in the engine bay. That's our first little once over. So basically we'll, we'll pressure test the cooling system here in a little bit, but next let's go up and kind of look around underneath. So you ready to go up? Yes, sir. All right. 